I don't know about you, but I have too many junk drawers in my house and I finally got the things that I needed and I want to tackle these projects. So I have two. One is my dresser drawer and that is a total disaster and has way too much stuff in it. And then the next one is my office drawer. And both of these are long overdue. It really helps me to have good organization products. And I got those at the container store. I'll put links in the video description. First, we're gonna start with my nightstand in my bedroom. I got out a white towel and I'm just gonna dump all the contents of the drawer onto the towel. That way I can see all the small things and everything and it won't make a mess on my bed. Next, I'm just going to organize things by type. As you can see, I have an addiction to eye masks. I might have way too many. I think it was around six of them. Also, earplugs. I mean, sleep is so important to me. I kind of go overboard and I have way too many, so I'm gonna pare down both of these quite a bit. The next thing I have way too much of is essential oils. I really only need a lavender and a peppermint. I use lavender to help me sleep and make me calm, and I use peppermint to help with headaches or to wake up in the morning and be refreshed. I have this retro McDonald's Happy Meal toy. It's a mail carrier McNugget from 1988, but this was the, like a revival one. I don't know what it's doing in my nightstand. Now this is my office. I know it's really small, it's in the kitchen, but this is where I work most of the time. We're actually waiting for the poles to come in. Um, that's why this one's missing, but this looks like a pretty big drawer, but I'm gonna show you. It's pretty long and wide, but it's only one inch tall. And so it's pretty shallow. And this is already done part way. I just had this junk in the back. So I went back to the container store. I bought these and aren't these the cutest things ever? They're one inch tall, so they fit perfectly in here. I'm so happy to find them. They also have these things on the bottom so that it doesn't scratch or make noise or mark up. They're made out of metal, not plastic. And I also got these gold ones. I wanted to do them all in gold. I think that looks so pretty, but they didn't have enough of them. So I decided to mix them. And I know this is not Pinterest perfect. Um, maybe I'll get there, but this, this is where we're at. And I think it looks so much better. I wish I could have showed you the old kitchen with the old junk drawer. It was so awful. I'm just gonna finish this. Make sure to always have a garbage can close by because you're gonna need it. There's always garbage in the junk drawer. These also come in two inches. My other junk drawer is actually three inches tall and I think that the dividers I got there were a little bit over two inches. I tried to maximize as much space as I could, but this one we've got space challenge. Then I have these guys. I'm gonna like live with this and see if I wanna change it around, but I love how these are modular and they can be easily switched around. But overall, I love it. What do you guys think? Do you give it a thumbs up? We're gonna tackle this area now because this is a total disaster too, but that looks great. So I'm just gonna give this a little scrub down because it is so bad from eating in here. And then you can just take a damp cloth, um, my microfiber cloth, and wipe this down. This actually might even be machine washable, but I love this thing. You can also do this. Oh, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> I cannot believe how fast this gets bad and just collects all this dust. So. Since I recently took everything off and dusted it, then I don't need to do everything, but I do want to clean my mouse. Plus this smells so, so good. It smells like roses, but not the bad kind of smell of roses, like your grandma's old perfume, but just like really refreshing and pretty. And now, that's much better. I actually should do that weekly. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do, I don't have a lot of space 
and my dream is to get this thing from container store. <laughs> when I was at the container store yesterday, I saw these, here it is. These things are so great. I saw them and I just, they didn't have the ones I needed. So instead of having this thing here, I want to pare down. So I just have one or two and I can put it in a container like that. This is it. I want this magnetic container, $21.99. They do have a lot of coupons, so just make sure to check our video description. I'll put a link to the, all of these things. And they are magnetized and they, they command strip to the wall and then you magnetize holders. And I really think I need something like that because I don't have a lot of space and I probably would do it on this wall so you can't see it, so it's hidden. But for now, I gotta work with what I've got, which is I've got this big stack of papers um, and I have this desk organizer before. I had a lot more room to use it, but look how tight that is. So even on this side, I can't really do it. I could move everything to the side, but I like it how it is. Because of that, I'm gonna use this sideways <laughs> until I can find a better solution. I'm actually kind of a fanatic about notebooks. I have way too many notebooks. So I'm just gonna keep one notebook, this top notebook. So I'm gonna keep the top one and the rest of them are going to be filed away. Okay, so I'm going to stick that like that. These are the metal organizers in here, are right here on their website. They're pretty inexpensive. These are awesome. I haven't seen them anywhere else. I love them so much. They can stack. The biggest challenge with this desk is actually this chair. I spent, I needed something a lot taller because this is a lot taller and this one is adjustable. So this one, look how tall this can get. So this was perfect because I could adjust it to fit my height and it's so much better. But the problem is the way the angle is and the way the seat is, it cuts off circulation on my legs. And my daughter, who's only nine, said the same thing. But this one's from Wayfair. I wanted something really stylish, but nothing worked as well as this one. It's black and white. I kind of wanted colors, but my husband wanted it neutral. So we compromised. It is a lot lower, but for now, I'm thinking I'm just gonna get a cushion. It's been a few weeks since I recorded the video. I really need to declutter it some more, but I love how I can always find my scissors and, and everything is so easy to find and looks good is right here. It's some of the shifts. These tr metal trays aren't as tight in the back. This system is by far the easiest I've ever had to maintain and I love it. I hope this motivates you to tackle some of your junk drawers. Let me know in the comments if you do. Share this with anyone that you think it would help. And thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate you guys.